What mode is that? One. Cool. Hi, welcome to Lego Guide. Today we're looking at the Mindstorm and this is the EV3. It's uh, one of five things that you can build and it's pretty much the top end Lego um, thing that you can buy. It's got a, a programmable brick in the middle, it's, uh, it moves, it uh, fires things, it can track, it's got a sensor in the top uh, and it's really cool. There's actually five things in the series. There's a spiker, a raptor, a gripper, a tracker, and this one is called the EV3R Storm. So, um, what do you want to tell us about this, Tom? So, I can show you all the controls. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Apart from that one. So, what it's doing here, so there's, an, there's also a number of programs that come with this as well. Yeah. Um, and those programs um, that you actually put together off a, a laptop computer mm -hmm. and uh, you can have it do a whole range of things. It comes with some pre-set programs. So what you're doing there is you're just driving it with a remote, right? Yeah. One of the more sophisticated um, programs that this comes with at the moment is it actually finds this sensor and fires balls at it. Yeah. And it's about to fire now, is it? Okay, so one of the things that it does is it fires balls. Yep, there you go. So just to sort of start from the beginning, the first step of this was to assemble it, and that took you how long? About two hours. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of assembly required. I mean, I know that some of your other things that we've looked at before took up to six hours. Yeah. So hang on a sec. So it took two hours to build. There was not a lot of assembly, but then um, we had to program the brick on the computer. Yep. And the programming of the software is uh, step by step. It's pretty straightforward and there are very, very clear instructions on how to actually put each step of it together. Mm -hmm. And if you're not able to do that, um, there are some preset programs as well that come with it. Um, did you have any trouble with any of that? What about no. the wiring? Was there any difficulty there? So it was fairly straightforward. Yeah. We're at, with the five models, you're actually supposed to progress from the different range uh, models and experiment and learn all the way through. We actually skipped some of those steps so we could make this video. Um, what, one of the cool things about this is the assembly instructions. It doesn't come with any, but they're on the iPad. And the iPad is a 3D representation. You can twist it around, you can make it bigger, and it actually shows you the parts coming together um, in, in this clip. So, um, how did you find that? Was that a big boost to building? Yeah. Was it easier, do you think? Or, or, um... It was a lot easier. Right. And um, so, what, do, what did you like about it? What, what, what are your favourite things about this robot? Probably the arm, how it shoots, and like, the sound, and how it can do tech stuff. Like... Cool. That's great, isn't it? So it's a very sophisticated um, toy. Um, the other thing about it is that there's a lot of help online. There's a lot of other um, people that are building things and experimenting, and there's a lot of there's a fair bit of community around this, and probably more so than some of the other builds, I guess, because it's a lot more complicated. And um, you're able to, uh, if you have a cool program or something cool that you've built that which is totally different, you can actually put that online on the Lego Mindstorm start site and uh, show other people and share bits and pieces. All right, so Tom, um, what do you think out of 10 for this build? Probably a 10. Okay. All right, Tom, you got anything else? No, that's it. Thanks for watching LEGO Guide. See you next time.